would never dream anything like that would happen next door to me. And a neighbor talking about a woman who was critically burned after locking the doors to her home and setting a fire. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Kovacevic. Thank you for joining us. Bill and Kelly have the night off. Two deputies were also hurt when they ran into a wall of flames and superheated air while trying to rescue the woman. According to investigators, the woman's boyfriend called 911 at about noon to report that she was threatening to harm herself. Two deputies responded when they got to the RV they found on, off of Highway 105. They couldn't make their way inside because the woman had locked the doors. That's when and the deputies looked inside through a window. One of the deputies observed her set the trailer on fire. The deputies then um, kicked in the door as well as broke several windows to try and make entry. They made entry several times through the doorway, but the heat and smoke drove them back. They were finally able to um, break out the back window and get the um, female partially out the window, at which time the deputies reached in and pulled her in out the rest of the way, um, injuring their hands. Well, I just wanted to commend the two officers that risked their own lives to save a civilian. That was just above and beyond the call of duty. The RV was engulfed in flames. A crew from Acadian Ambulance treated the woman, and she was flown by Southeast Texas Air Rescue to a Galveston hospital. Deputy Carroll said the woman received burns to at least 60% of her body. At last check, she was in critical condition. Firefighters spent about one hour fighting the fire. The flames destroyed the woman's home and damaged another recreational vehicle next door. It's horrible. I mean, I don't have the money to pay for this, you know, and it's just very upsetting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A very big shock, mm -hmm. really. Doctors at Baptist Hospital in Beaumont treated the deputies for smoke inhalation and cuts to their arms and hands. They have been released. One dog also died in the fire.